Hello guys and welcome to a new vlog. Do not mind my appearance and I'm going out of focus. There we go. Don't mind my appearance. I have just finished doing a workout. Um, yeah, basically the exciting news. I don't think we've mentioned this yet. But we are going to Tenerife again this year. Yay! So we, we had previously said that we weren't going to be going anywhere this year um, because we wanted to save some money to try and do the rest of the flat out but basically we just decided do you know what we need that sunshine so we decided that we were going to book it so we booked that and we go what day is this day so it's Wednesday today oh why am I not focusing there we go um Yes, Wednesday today, so we go 10 weeks tomorrow, so it's really not long. So, yeah, I am full on into, like, summer holiday body mode. Not that I'm not going on, like, well, some people might think that this is a crazy diet. But for me, it's not even about, like, any, like, weight loss. If that happens, I mean, that's a bonus. But... Yeah, basically, I, I always find in the winter, I tend to, like, I don't know, I eat a bit more unhealthy, I'm more snacky, um, eating more in the way of, like, carbs and stuff. But then I always get to, like, Feb, March, and suddenly my body feels terrible. Um, everyone is different. Some people can have carbs and they're fine. But for myself, personally, it's not like I'm allergic to wheat or gluten. But I don't know, I just don't like the way it makes my body feel. So, I pretty much have not been eating any, like, breads or... Pa I mean, I haven't had pasta for, like, over a year now. Um, rice. Rice is another one that, honestly, if I have rice, my stomach is so bad. So, yeah, I've kind of thought, well, I'm going to go full-on healthy eating, which I feel amazing for. <laughs> And yeah, I've really upped my workout. So I've been working out pretty much every day. If you watched the last vlog, I did end it sat by here and now I'm starting the vlog. <laughs> Again, sat in the office, but I'm currently working whilst having my lunch. So, I mean, do you want to see? Do you want to see? I'll show you. So here we have my nice, simple lunch. So I've got... Uh, just like mixed leaves. I've chopped some tomatoes up. I've got half an avocado Some smoked salmon and I've just put some chili flakes a little bit of salt pepper and some Lime juice and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So Yeah, I've been I don't know fancy more like fresher flavors recently rather than just having mayonnaise or something like that So yeah, that is my lunch and yeah, I'm gonna do some work, upload some backgrounds whilst munching on this. Um, so yeah, so what I've been kind of doing with my workouts is doing a lot of cardio, a lot of cardio, <laughs> but then, so yeah, I'm, I kind of do like cardio in like the morning time if I can help it. And then after I finish my work for the day, do like a quick like, 15 minutes of using either like weights or resistance bands and doing like legs and butt and ab stuff then so I'm gonna get a nice like mixture of like weight training and cardio so it's not just like all like one or the other but yeah I'm gonna eat my lunch do some work and I will catch up with you in a bit. Hello guys so it is a while later from the last time that I vlogged um, basically not a lot has happened, well in regards to my life anyway, um, I've just been doing work, things like that, Joe done his talk, um, I won't say anything other than that, yeah it went really well but I'll let Joe talk to you about that himself because I, I, I wasn't there because it was school, um, I don't think it would have been appropriate for me to go along with him, um, but no, now Joe can fully relax, we're gonna have like a proper Saturday night. We've got some pizza in, which I'm very excited about because yeah, I'm still on this like healthy kick diet thing that I've got going on or something where I can describe it. Um, 
I have a hat on because my hair is a mess so I couldn't be bothered doing anything so I was like put the hat on. Um, I've just made myself an iced coffee. I have been going on a no Starbucks kick. Can we believe it? Like can we actually believe it? Um, I did have one, yeah I think it was Thursday I had one but uh, that was only because I have been saving my free drink. Let's do it now. I was saving my free drink. I'm moaning about Starbucks. <laughs> um, oh yeah, screwing you over. You're fuming. Yeah, I know. Yeah, fuming. I'm. So yeah. So basically, I've been not having Starbucks to try and save some money. So I thought to myself, well, because we're going to be going away, um, I'd like to get some new bits. And obviously, Starbucks are quite expensive. There, they are. So I thought I'll like cut down on the Starbucks and make iced coffees at home and then money I save from Starbucks can go towards things that I want for holiday then. Um, but I had a free drink and I was like, oh, I'm going to use this. So I went into the Starbucks, ordered my cold brew. If anyone's been like a long time watcher, you know cold brew is my favourite coffee like ever. Um, I like scanned my the, the app with a free drink was waiting at the end and they were like we don't have any cold brew I was like no so I ended up just having an iced latte which was fine it was fine it was fine but it wasn't my cold brew and like my guess is it was not fine well, no, it wasn't fine. I mean, like, the coffee itself tasted okay. Like, it was fine. There wasn't anything wrong with the coffee that I had. Because that sounds really ungrateful for me to be like, I don't think it was bad. It wasn't actually a bad drink. But it just wasn't what I wanted. And when that was, like, my last Starbucks now, like, for the foreseeable future, I was just like, why, why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? But I have uh, been making some pretty good, like, coffee myself. Um, oh, should I? I mean, let's, sh let's show you the coffee that I've been using. The only reason I got this was because it was half price in Tesco's. But it's the Kenko Milicano Americano Original. So I've been using that. Sorry, I'm just grabbing my laptop at the same time. Um, I've been using that and ooh, get through the door. Okay, for future reference, don't try and get through the door with a camera and a laptop. Um, so I've been using that coffee, mixing it with some plain cocoa, like a no added sugar or like milk stuff to it, cocoa. Um, adding a little bit of honey so that it's like natural sweetness and not like artificial sweetener and filling the glass up with ice and then using some almond milk because not because I'm like again seven dairy I just actually prefer the taste of almond milk and then you've got yourself a like nice healthy ice mocha I've been quite enjoying that we are currently back in the office I feel like you're gonna get sick of seeing this uh, scenery but we're back in the office because even though I said no work on the weekend, what can I say? I'm a work ho. I'm a work ho and here I am. I'm only going to do a little bit though. We're only going to do a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we're taking it easy. We're not going to do loads, but just a little bit. And then we're going to do a workout. <laughs> do a workout and then we're going to chill and have some pizza. And um, yeah, just enjoy Saturday night. Yeah, should we film some of our workout? Oh yeah, we haven't done that for a while. Yeah, would you want to see a bit of our workout? I'm asking, but it's happening so you actually don't have a choice. Basically, if you didn't want to see a workout, just have to skip ahead. Skip ahead to when there's no one working out. Um, so yeah, we will see you when it's workout time. Hey guys, so we actually to film oh, we did. We, did, we, did. We, can, we got right to the end and then I said we haven't filmed that and 
I mean, you would have seen a troop because there's been a body and I was smashing it and now I can actually... Yeah, you actually probably lift me a bit, yeah. Yeah, so... That was, I, that was really good. Um, but we might do a good little later on and see what we do. Yeah. And if we do, we'll do that then. Um, but it is a lush day today and this is like the first nice day we've had in like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's um, been rain for ages. So we've come out, we're going uh, from the we have to take it to the which I'm going to now. Uh, I'm always saying information that I think is new, but it's just old news to you guys. <laughs> but what, 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 you, you, you say? Well, basically, I am super excited to reveal to you this brand new information for the very first time that we are going to Tenerife again. <laughs> the brand new information. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, guys, it's happening. We, do, we couldn't be no. not going and having like a uh, relaxing beach holiday, so. Yeah, it is happening nine weeks time and um, we are super excited about it. Um, we are just chilling by a pond and there's a dog. <laughs> and some duckies. <laughs> so yeah, when we go back then, so yeah, we're going to have some lunch, possibly do a workout. I think I'm going to try and take a day off today and do any work. We'll see how that goes. So I might play some video games. And oh I might do some hula hooping. Oh, they haven't seen the hula hooping, have they? They have not, no, so that'd that, be good. That's for. a treat for everyone. Um, and I have to finish Glitch Girl because people are going to be out of my blood if I don't. So I've gotta continue working on the final chapter. Hopefully get that released. But at least finish. I, I, the, the releasing of the chapters is not dumb to me. That's episodes uh, are in control of that. But at least I can get it finished by the end of March, and then hopefully you guys will get it in the uh, beginning of April sometime. I would be so relieved to get that out of the way because I have spread myself too thin work-wise, and I've not been able to get time to do that. Um, oh yeah, I did not tell you guys how the tour went at that school. It went awesome. Uh, I was so nervous beforehand. I was worried that I wasn't gonna have anything to say. Like, well, not anything to say. I, I was worried that my presentation was gonna finish and then it was gonna be like half an hour left of just like at silence and that none of the kids would ask any questions or anything like that. But thankfully, they were all really, really interested and they uh, had hundreds of questions. They actually had more questions than we had time to answer so uh, so it went really really well and uh, hopefully I can do that more often do more presentations at school so uh, my mum works in a school so uh, I'm gonna ask her see if uh, her school will be interested in me talking there and hopefully inspire some young as aspiring writers so good morning guys this is a slightly different angle um, I've currently got you on the shelves and you know it's quite a good height I have to say you can see all the books behind um, so so yeah you will notice that once again we didn't film a workout don't mind I've lost I've lost the nail as in like I've actually lost it it popped off and I put it down somewhere and I can't find it again so who knows where that's gone so yeah, yesterday we went for the walk down the bay and then we were going to do a workout and stuff after only 
plans changed very very last minute and um yeah basically that didn't happen joe ends up going um out for a meal with some of his fam yeah so it didn't end up happening but anyway good morning it is monday morning uh it is currently quarter past 11. i have been up and out and i'm back already so yeah we've kind of got into this routine where we are getting up yeah i say early but getting up about like eight half eight which i know for some people i mean i used to get up for work at like five o'clock sometimes four o'clock in the morning so that's not early but like you know making sure we're up before nine uh getting ready going out straight away going for a walk somewhere just because it's nice to just get out when you work for yourself if you just stay in the cabin fever is real it's real guys um so, so i've come back i've made myself coffee um whilst i have my coffee i am gonna do some work and then once i finish my coffee i'm gonna do a workout then so i was fine when i if i have a coffee that like i don't know i suddenly feel i've got loads of energy and i'm pumped so that's how i kind of like staying motivated to do these workouts yeah so then i do my workout then i shower and then i come back to doing work then because what i was doing was doing a workout at the end of the day after i'd finished all my work but i was absolutely knackered by then so yeah so if it looks like i haven't got hardly anything on my face that's because i haven't <laughs> yeah i thought to myself i'm gonna be working out there's no point in me putting like a full face on so i just put a bit of concealer on and a little bit of like liquid bronzer illuminator stuff just to make myself look a bit more alive but yeah joe is currently at the gym um he's doing like muscle like uh, yeah so talking about upper body muscle stuff i am very pleased with myself that i can now lift pretty heavy weights like i can now i can lift some of joe's weights um i can do push-ups like if i'm doing them on my knees um but yeah i can do push-ups i can do the i think they call them triceps push-ups where it's like you're you're doing it kind of like backwards and yeah i actually managed to pick joe up the other day so i am getting still on i've got my reusable starbucks cup oh i do need to get some more reusable uh straws as well i ordered some off amazon and like the idiot i was i didn't check the size of them i just assumed a straw was a straw right <laughs> but um yeah they were like huge huge straws i mean i've never seen a straw so like huge before in my life so it basically doesn't fit in the cup it doesn't fit anything so if anyone's got any good recommendations of like reusable straws that aren't the like paper cardboard ones i prefer like the metal kind of straws um that are actual normal straw size then let a girl know let a girl know down below but yeah i'm just gonna get on some work for a minute and then it's time to get my sweat on So workout is done. I am sweating right now. I actually have the fan on me because I'm so hot. <laughs> yeah, I probably look a little bit dishevelled right now, but yeah, just gonna have some lunch. Got a nice chicken salad, and there's a Tula. We were proper fighting earlier on because she was trying to sleep where I was working out, and I was not having it. There's a Jill back from. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mentioned the you. Whoa, look at the muscles. Basically, this is day one. Hopefully, I will eat. I have cookies. I'll end right now. I'll stay for the next few minutes. But um, it's a start. Not too much of a beast, though. No, I don't, I don't want to like look like a monstrous. But <laughs> that, 
I doubt so I would be able to get to that stage. Well, it'd be impossible for me to get to that stage anyway. Um, within not, whatever how many days it is, uh, nine weeks. But hopefully, I will be a bit more muscular. And uh, yeah, body beast, beasting it up. So yeah, this is my lunch. Got a nice little salad, tomatoes, cucumber, peppers, some celery, and half a chicken breast. And just got some salt, pepper, chili flakes, and balsamic vinegar as dressing. And we are currently on season, what is it, of Lost? Four. Season four. I'm not going to lie, I'm struggling with it. I know, yeah. Se season four is where it really goes, starts going downhill. So. Um, I, yeah, I do feel like I'm, I, <laughs> when we're watching now, I'm not fully paying attention. Yeah. My mind, like, is wandering elsewhere, but... I mean, I don't know, may maybe it'll draw me back in. I stopped around about this point the first time I was watching it. I stopped watching on TV and then my friend in work told me to go back to it in like season five or six. And I went back to it and then I like absolutely loved it again. So uh, once you get through this, this ropey season four, it, it is better. I'm just gonna try and push on through. Yeah, although we do have Game of Thrones in about three weeks time for oh, last season now that's exciting that is exciting that is exciting but yeah we are going to chow down on some nice food and then yeah <laughs> pro year lost in the bathroom <laughs> and then yeah it's gonna continue on with some work okay guys so things have kind of hit a bit of a bump um i don't know if you can see all this mess behind basically our sink is completely blocked and I not in focus. There we go. Um, our kitchen sink is completely blocked. It come on really, really suddenly. One minute we were like, oh yeah, the water's draining a bit, like slower than usual. Oh, why is this not focusing? So we put some like sink and blocker down there. Um, yeah, next thing you know, literally the water won't even drain. So yeah, we haven't been able to wash our dishes because we don't really want to wash them in the bath. And we tried washing them in the sink in the bathroom and it was just a bit like inconvenient. But we've got a guy coming out like literally right now, he's due. And yeah, I'm gonna have to pay him an extortionate amount of money to get that sorted and then do major cleaning up and that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog by here. Um, only because yeah, there's not really a lot happening now and I do wanna get this vlog up today if possible today tomorrow so uh, yeah i apologize if this hasn't been the most like making sense or funnest of vlogs but you know this is just our daily life but yeah thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed somewhat and uh, we will see you in the next vlog with a nice working sink bye